Now, the other day, I showed you this. This is the Privet Hawk Moth caterpillar that I collected from the Privet Hedge running alongside Edwinstow Churchyard. It's now grown considerably to what it was and it's approaching full grown. Another two or three days of endlessly munching on privet leaves will do the trick. It's an absolutely beautiful caterpillar. And it's the largest caterpillar that you'll find in the UK of any native species. There are a couple of very rare migrant species whose caterpillars can occasionally turn up. Like this one. And this one still has an awful lot of growing to do. Now I'll try and arrange it so that you can still see my beautiful face while being able to see these beautiful caterpillars. This green one here is the beautiful foreground caterpillar of Privet Hall Moth. It really is a truly beautiful thing. These are fabulous. Well worth looking for in the Privet Hedge if you've still got one. Not many people have now in their gardens. But putting Privet Hall Moth to one side for a minute. This beauty, while well, being the size of the Privet Hall Moth, still has a considerable amount of growing to do. It is in its last instar. And if I mention the species as being death said hawk moth then you may well be a little bit more interested in what it is it really is the most fantastic caterpillar and when this is full grown it will make this look like your little finger compared to your middle finger i won't demonstrate that otherwise i might get chucked off youtube but this beautiful caterpillar, it really is a stunning thing. And I have purchased these. Death said Hawk Moth was always, and I'm going back to the 1980s again here, always one of those species that couldn't be bred in captivity, was rarely found, and most years wasn't found. It stopped being found in the wild with a cessation of people being commandeered or asked to, to do potato picking. That's when occasionally amongst the potatoes the very large pupa of a death's head hawk moth would be found. But then I remember receiving my quarterly copy of the Amateur Entomologist Society's Bulletin and in that particular copy there was an exciting article, a lengthy article, describing the captive breeding of death said hawk moths for the first time. And what's more, privet was the food plant that they were using. Now, in the terms, or well, in the moth world, shall we say, or the entomological world, the use of privet, or the proof that privet could be used to rear these caterpillars, was world-shattering news, to be honest. It meant that, potentially, these caterpillars could be reared a lot easier. It's very difficult to find potato foliage in the depths of winter, because not being a moth of our shores, the adults and the larva are continuously brooded 
The process can be slowed down to a degree of breeding these in captivity by all accounts and I may well have a go at breeding them this this time around but this is the first time I've breed these since the early 1980s and then I only got one to adult I always remember. These really are absolutely beautiful caterpillars. We'll see if we can get you in a bit closer while I walk along. But if we compare it again to the size of this privet hawk moth, which I say is a couple of days off from pupation, another two or three days of eating, or just about be right, I think. Whereas this has still got probably another week to to do of eating, which it's doing now. They eat almost continuously, and they're very fast growers as well. While they're young, they're a beautiful pale green colour. But that is lost at various points, depending on the individual caterpillar through the development. Although that I have and now this beautiful bright canary yellow it's a real beautiful golden yellow stunning things it's the size of these that impresses people the most and the, the moth with its famous school like markings or the markings of death himself on the thorax is what many people know of course, the moth was made famous by the film The Silence of the Lambs and even used on the poster, if I remember right. However, they said hawk moth, which I have hatched out a few years ago from pupa that I bought, isn't the only hawk moth to have death like markings on the thorax. Pine hawk moth is another one, and even. Adult privet hawk moth has an almost similar feel to the thorax of the adult moth. So, now you've seen this at this sort of size, I think it's time that we had a time jump so you can see now how it is when it's fully grown. So, three, two, one. So, We've now lapsed several days, and as you can see, I've changed my in star as well. I've gone green from black, which is quite ironic, really, when you see what I show you. Now, the first part of this video featured this chap, this now rather heavy privet hawk moth caterpillar. We're about four days on, three or four days on from when I showed you this and I'm surprised that it is still in this stage. I thought by now she might have gone to ground and then literally underground to pupate but as you can see it's still munching away quite merrily. Now I've had to finish off the rest of this video now because I wanted this caterpillar this pivotal moth caterpillar to still be here but there has been some developments with our beautiful golden friends the death set hawk moths now you can see or at least start to see the size difference between these two beauties and the golden yellow of the death set hawk moth still hasn't finished growing yet they are eating like madmen but what beautiful things these are privet hawk moth caterpillar is large and alone grubby forefinger time up so you can see the size of these well, it's just lost a bit of weight but they are quite remarkable caterpillars but I had a surprise the other day. The all now, well, they all went yellow. The green one that I showed you, of the green form rather, of the desert hawk moth that I showed you in the first part of this video, molted out 
into one of these beauties. So did all the others, so I thought. But then, here's one that I made earlier. All of a sudden I noticed this. And this is the, what I presume is the rarer brown form altogether. It's another absolutely stunning thing. And I'll put some close-ups in because it's the spiracles on this. It's jet black, but it's like looking into a black hole. It looks like when you see them close up, it's just like looking into oblivion. So I've now got one of this brown form with a smaller yellow form on top. This beautiful, typically coloured, dead set hawk moth caterpillar. And in the middle, fantastic trivet hawk moth, our largest UK species, our native species. Don't forget, of course, that the dead set hawk moth is a rare migrant. There is one accepted county record for Nottinghamshire and one unaccepted county record for Nottinghamshire. All in all, these are quite stunning things and I'll show you some photos, I'll include some slides of the development of this beauty here, from the egg to this monstrous size. It really is a huge caterpillar. But that's not taking away anything from the size of our very own privet hawk moth in the centre. And bear in mind that this chapter's still got some growing to do. The privet hawk moth, I don't think, will be a larva for much longer than two days maximum. But I thought that the other day. And then. The appearance of this wonderful brown form. It was a form that I'd seen actually and wanted to see and didn't think there was any hope, but it seems that the final instar determines what colour they're going to be. It seems that the larva can, while well, being in the green form, throughout the first three or four instars, ultimately become yellow or brown. Either way, these are absolute fun to rear. I may well have a go at breeding these. Breeding is fairly easy, but you need a large cage. Cage to match their appetites. But if you get the chance to rear these, I'd go for it. Feed on privet, which is easy enough. And they are relatively cheap to buy, either as egg or young larva. But they're endless fun. Well worth having a go. So, that's the state we're in with rearing these death set hawkmoth caterpillars. And not forgetting our little rivet hawkmoth caterpillar. Ruby Talk Moth Caterpillar won't emerge as an adult until next May or June time. The death heads, however, should be adult by next month. But that's another video entirely.